Hello, this is Steve Jacobs with Apps for Android. What you will be seeing displayed on the screen for the next two minutes are a variety of symbols used to represent audio description. In this video, we are going to provide you with a brief look at the work we are doing to design and build a high quality text to speech driven application that provides the ability to add audio descriptions to YouTube videos. Audio description refers to an additional narration track of visual media for individuals who are blind and partially sighted, including television, film, dance, opera, and visual art. It normally consists of a human narrator talking through the presentation, describing what is happening on the screen during the natural pauses in the audio, and sometimes during dialogue if deemed necessary. For the performing arts, including theater, dance, opera, and media, including television, movies, and DVDs, description is a form of audiovisual translation using the natural pauses in dialogue or between critical sound elements to insert narrative that translates the visual image into a sense form that is accessible to millions of individuals who otherwise lack full access to television and film. You will note when watching our audio described educational video tutorial that it is not necessary to squeeze our narrations into the natural pauses in the audio. Forcing this discipline on a TTS engine has its drawback. By the way, TTS refers to text-to-speech. All we do is automatically pause the video, play the narration, and restart the video. We have found this technical approach to narrating science, technology, engineering, and math videos easy, incredibly fast, and very effective. Researchers are working to show how description, through its varied word choice, synonyms, metaphor, and simile, not only benefits individuals who are blind or partially sighted, but others who have learning disabilities. Actually, descriptions can also boost literacy for everyone. The first four-minute video segment shows the caption version of a Khan Academy video tutorial focused on teaching arithmetic. The second four-minute video segment is audio described using our advanced Android-based text-to-speech technology. The video being played is one of more than 2,400 educational video tutorials made accessible by apps for Android's Condroid application. More information about Condroid may be found by clicking the Show More tab beneath this YouTube video. Now, on with the examples, and we hope you enjoy them. In the last video, we got some practice adding what we could consider smaller numbers. For example, if we added 3 plus 2, we could imagine that if maybe I had 3 lemons, 1, 2, 3, and if I were to add to those 3 lemons, maybe 2 lime, is it lime or limes? Let's just, well, the, two, 2 green lemons or two, 2 more tart pieces of fruit, how many, how much tart, sour fruit do I have now? Well, we learned in the last video we have one, two, three, four, five pieces of fruit. So three plus two is equal to five. And we also saw that that's the exact same thing as if we add two plus three. And I think that makes sense because this is the same thing as starting with maybe you have two lemons and you add three lime to it. You're still going to end up with five pieces of fruit. One, two, three, four, five. 
just like that. So it doesn't matter what order you add in, you're still going to get 5. And this is this way of thinking about addition, I view as the counting way of thinking about addition. The other thing we saw in the last video is a number line version, and they're essentially the same thing. So we could draw a line. And all a number line is, it lists all of the numbers in order. It lists all the numbers, and you can actually go as high as you need to go. You could go up to a million, gazillion, trillion. We won't do that. I wouldn't have space or time in this video to do it. And you actually can go as low as possible. We'll start at zero. Assuming uh, in future videos, I'll tell you about numbers smaller than zero. Uh, maybe you can think about what that might mean tonight. But let's start at zero, and zero means nothing. If I have zero lemons, if I have zero lemons, it means I have no lemons. So zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go pretty high. Twelve, that way I can reuse the number line. Thirteen, fourteen. I could keep on going, but maybe fourteen will be enough for this video. But let's use a number line for these addition problems up here. So in the last video, just as a bit of a review, you can view three plus two as starting at three and then adding 2 to it, or going 2 greater than 3. And just going greater, or adding on the number line, is just moving to the right, or moving up by 2. So let's move up by 2. I'll do that in, I'll do that in this orange color. So let's move, go up by 2. So we started at 3, and we go up by 1, and then we go up by 2, or we're jumping. And we end up at 5, which is exactly what we got before. If we have 3 lemons, we add 1 lemon, we have 4 lemons. We add another lemon, we have 5 lemons, or lime pieces of fruit, whatever you might want to say. And when you look at this version of it, where you switched the order, we started at 2, and we're adding three objects to it. In this case, they were lemons, or limes. So we're going to add three to it. One, two, three. And just like we expected, we got the same thing. We got five again. Now what I want to do in this video, and hopefully this was just a bit of review, is I want to tackle harder problems. I want to tackle slightly larger numbers. And then in the next video, and in this video I want to just give you practice dealing with the slightly larger numbers. And in the next video we're going to dig a little deeper and think about what numbers even mean. But let's just get some practice understanding how do you actually do the addition problems with larger numbers. In the last video, we got some practice adding what we could consider smaller numbers. For example, if we added 3 plus 2. Writes 3 plus 2. We could imagine that if maybe I had 3 lemons, 1, 2, 3. And if I were draws 3 yellow circles beneath the 3. To add to those 3 lemons, maybe 2 lime. Is it lime or lime? draws two green circles beneath the two. So let's just, well, the two, two green lemons, or two, two more tart pieces of fruit. How, many, how much tart, sour fruit do I have now? Well, we learned in the last video, we have one, two, three, four, five pieces of fruit. Fills in the center of the three yellow and two green circles. Fruit. So three plus two is equal to five. Add an equal sign 5 to the end of 3 plus 2. And we also saw that that's the exact same thing as if we add 2 plus 3. Right, 2 plus 3. And I think that makes sense, because this is the same thing as starting with, maybe you have two lemons. Draws two yellow circles beneath the two. And you add three lime to it. Draws three green circles beneath the three. You're still going to end up with five pieces of fruit. One, two, three, four, five fills in the center of the two yellow and three green circles. Just like that. So it doesn't matter. Adds an equal sign 5 to the end of 2 plus 3. No matter what order you add in, you're still going to get 5. And this is this way of thinking about addition, I view as the counting way of thinking about addition. The other thing we saw in the last video is a number line version. And they're essentially the same thing. So we could draw a line. And all a number line is, it lists all of the numbers in order. Draws a long line from left to right adds an arrow to the right end of the line. It lists all the numbers, and you can actually go as high as you need to go. You could go up to a million, gazillion, trillion. Points to the right end of the line. We won't do that. I wouldn't have space or time in this video to do it. And you actually can go as low as possible. 
points to the left hand of the line. We'll start at zero, assuming uh, in future videos I'll tell you about numbers smaller than zero. Uh, maybe you can think about what that might mean tonight. But let's start at zero, and zero means nothing. Draws a mark on the left hand of the line. Writes zero beneath it. If I have zero lemons, if I have zero lemons, it means I have no lemons. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go pretty high. Twelve. That way I can reuse the number line. Thirteen, fourteen. I could keep on going, but maybe fourteen will be enough. Draws fourteen additional marks on the line. Writes the numbers one fourteen, respectively, beneath each mark, making the line a number line. For this video, but let's use a number line for these addition problems up here. So in the last video, just as a bit of a review, you can view three plus two as starting at three, and then draws a dot on the three on the number line, adding two to it, or going two greater than three, and just going greater or adding on the number line is just moving to the right or moving up by two. So let's move up by two. I'll do that in, I'll do that in this orange color. So let's move go up by two. So we started at three and we go up by one. Draws a line from three to four. One. And then we go up by two, or we're jumping, and we end. Draws a line from four to five. Up at five. Draws a dot on five. Points to the number five in the equation three plus two equals five. Five, which is exactly what we got before. If we have three lemons, we add one lemon. We have four lemons. We add another lemon. We have five lemons, or lime, or tart pieces of fruit, whatever you might want to say. And when you look at this version of it. Points to the equation two plus three equals five. Well, you switched the order. We started at two. Draws a dot on the two on the number line. We're adding three objects to it. In this case, they were lemons or limes. So we're going to add three to it. One, two, three. Draws a line from two to three, three to four, and four to five. And just like we expected, we got the same thing. We got five again. Now, what I want to do in this video, and hopefully this was just a bit of review, is I want to tackle harder problems. I want to tackle slightly larger numbers, and then in the next video, and in this video, I want to just give you practice dealing with the slightly larger numbers. And in the next video, we're going to dig a little deeper and think about what numbers even mean. But let's just get some practice understanding how do you actually do the addition problems with larger numbers.